All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the live stream. I'm Martin Luring, video game pianist, and let me get my phone so I can read the chat messages. And I see YouTube, they have updated their live streaming. So this is exciting. Um, Apple devices can now make uh, super chats and uh, the stream chat is saved afterwards. So not only can people watch a video, but the chat also in synchronization with the video. So let me get my phone and we'll get started. Let me see, I have to install the YouTube app. Oh, I have it already, all right. So hello everyone, so now I can read the chat on the phone, on the computer. Hello Black No 2. Hello everyone. Okay, so how's everyone doing? So uh, I'll, I'll lower the super chat prices. I know that it's uh, like twenty dollars for me to learn a new piece. I'll lower it down to ten dollars, and for me to play pieces on my repertoire list to five dollars. So how about that? So I see a lot of people who've been to the streams before and, and some new people. So welcome. So basically I'll play piano here and I'll take super chat requests. And so now I'll start off with the Super Mario Brothers main theme. So how many of you have never heard of the Super Mario Brothers main theme before? So let's get started with the Super Mario Brothers main theme. Hello Leonardo, hello Nightchild, what's Mario? Oh, this is the Mario theme. Can you all hear me from here? So I'm talking in the microphone, the piano is picking up my voice over here. My child, what's Super Mario Brothers? All right, so let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
Sebastian, the Super Mario Bros. main theme. Can you all see me and can you all hear me? Maybe I can see Link's name from lights. I think that's, that's going to be for now. Let's head into another night. All right. So, I'm back. I don't know how to play Sidori's theme. Speed on theme. All right, so now here's the underwater theme from Super Mario Brothers. Yes, I know. I'm. I have a mic here, but can you hear me through the mic on the piano? Can you hear me now? I'm speaking through the mics on the piano here. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so can you hear me? May I can speak into the mics here? I use this mic here. What I have to do is I have to turn on the mic here and turn off the mic and turn on the mic and turn off the mic. And then it's like I have to bend over and press this button on the computer, then turn it on again. And, and it's, it's, yeah. Unless I get it like a, unless I get a computer keyboard to like have a shortcut to turn off and on the mics. So I can, what if I talk here? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Look, what happens if I press on the pedal and talk? There's an echo. Can you hear me? So my voice, the, the piano strings is resonating my voice. Woo! Spooky, right? So this is called prepared piano. Combination of John Cage and Mario. the coin sound. All right. 
Jazz does testing out the uh, acoustic piano, the properties, the uncharted properties of the acoustic piano. All right, so here we go. Here's Mario played blindfolded. I can't see now. Where's the piano? Where's the piano keys? It's over here. It's over here, isn't it? Okay, here it goes. How about I'll play? Let's see, I'll play the overworld theme again, blindfolded. <laughs> Super Mario medley video then I take off my blindfold and turn around and get my glasses and start playing the underworld theme all right let me try turning on this mic here all right so now I'm talking through this mic here and this mic should pick up the other mics here as well okay so if you want to make a request, you're going to make a super chat. So check out the super chat rules. I've lowered the prices. It's just $5 for me to play a piece that's on my repertoire list and $10 for a piece that I don't know. And the stream will probably go on for about maybe, I don't know, maybe 30 more minutes or so, but it depends. There's some things that are outside of my control when I can and can't stream. So, yeah. And, okay, so... Now I'll play Animal Crossing Wild World Theme, one of Eduardo W's favorites. What if I just keep this microphone on, but is there an echo when I play on the piano like this? <laughs> Can anybody identify what piece I just played? 
From these four notes, what piece is this? Yup, I see there's an echo, so I should turn on this mic when I'm not playing. Alright, so now let's play some more Super Mario music. This is Super Mario Bros. 3 Overworld Theme 2. Alright, so we have a super chat by Josh, Josh Gunderson. Thank you, Josh. And a Super Mario 64 Haunted House stage. Alright, so is that the one where you mean when it's in the castle and it's all these rumbly sounds like this? Or do you mean this one? The first one, Josh Gunderson says. Okay, so let's go back to the guess the theme uh, quickly. So these four notes here. That's from Chopin's Blood Number no. Three. For those classical music fans out there. So where is Frederick Chopin? He's usually here, but I guess he's not here now. But uh, that was he would have gotten that right. So this is uh, that was. Uh, from Chopin Blood number three. Anyway, so let's get to the super chat of Super Mario 64 Haunted House stage.
So do you know why I jumped? Because I was afraid the piano might bite me. Do you all have memories of that piano in the haunted house trying to bite Mario and, and scare Mario? Well, this piano here has teeth as well. Okay, so that was Haunted Castle from Super Mario 64. So thank you for the super chat. That was very fun to play. Thank you, Josh Gunderson. Thank you. All right. So yeah, some people have nightmares from the piano still too. Okay. So continuing on the theme of Super Mario 64, let's soothe those nightmares by playing Dire Dire Docks, a peaceful water level music. <laughs> Alright, that was Super Mario 64 Diary Diary Docs composed by Koji Kondo. So I met Koji Kondo in 2007 in San Francisco and I played a Super Mario Manly pieces for him as well as for Shigeru Miyamoto. It was a lot of fun. And I also met Koji Kondo in Tokyo in 2009. So how many of you are looking forward to me releasing new videos on YouTube? Not just live stream videos, like archives of live streams, but actually videos that I, I prepare and I upload and I record, etc, etc. So, tomorrow there will be a release of a new video. So stay tuned for that. I know it's been a while since I've really uh, recorded, and, recorded and, and uploaded videos to YouTube. So, um, I think you're in for a treat. So, I have a Patreon account now, and the Patreon account helps support me to make YouTube videos for everyone to enjoy. So, if you are uh, interested in having me make even more YouTube videos, consider supporting my Patreon. So, for those who support my Patreon at a certain level, you can make a request for me to record a video as well. And there's also a new reward if you donate a certain amount per month. You get to see a video that I make specifically for those patrons. It's not released to the general public either. 
So those are some of the rewards you get for donating. Okay, so to play Guess the Theme, uh, I'm not sure we have enough time today to play Guess the Theme. This is just more about like a test record, test stream to see how it's working. I'm looking forward to see how the chat will show up in the video archive and things like that. And I believe now people with iPhones, Apple devices can make super chats now because previously it was a little more difficult for Apple or nearly uh, or not even possible for people with Apple devices to make super chats. But I see we have another super chat by, by uh, Kyle Gems this time. So thank you, Kyle. And uh, I think it's, is that a South Park uh, profile picture, the red hair? So Gourmet Race, is it this one that goes dun, de, dun. Is it that one? If it is, then I'll play it in F minor. Okay, so uh, okay, so yeah, it depends how much time I have uh, to do. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, a piano course. It depends, um, but it's it's an interesting suggestion. So I'll check it out. But I do teach private lessons in Los Angeles. So if, if those of you are in the Los Angeles area, I do just teach private lessons. Obviously, private lessons are the best way to learn instrument. Um, all right, so here we go with the uh, gourmet race from Kirby. So that was my uh, improvisation and performance of uh, Kirby's Gourmet Ray. So I'm catching my breath a little bit. So it's going to do a lot of cardio exercise because that cardio really helps, you know. Thank you, everyone. 
Olá, Pedro Teixeira. Uh, tudo bem? I see you speak Portuguese. Ça va. Or is that French? Ça va is French, like how do you do, right? Tudo bem. Thank you, Kyle Gems. You're a gem for super chatting. Thank you. <laughs> when I was starting Flight of the Bumblebee, yes, that descending chromatic scales like Flight of the Bumblebee, that chromaticisms. Uh, yes, I know some Undertale, uh, like, casually. I mean, I saw some sheet music, but I've never, like, spent serious time uh, looking at it. Memos Mountain. All right, so just got a few more minutes before I got to go because, again, this is just an impromptu stream. The official stream is supposed to be this Friday. So uh, depending on my schedule, I might be able to do a stream earlier, but don't quote me on that, I'm, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's pronounced like a SH sound. Thank you, Eduardo. Obrigado. So, uh, T. T. Shira. T. Shira. Is that how you pronounce it? T. Shira. I learned something new today. It's not T either. <laughs> That's close enough, Pedro. All right. Obrigado. De nada, right? Okay, so now let's play the ending theme to Super Mario World. Here it goes. So that was Super Mario World ending theme. So there we go. Thank you, Redhead Knight. My craziness. What if I play that like twice as fast? That would be super crazy, wouldn't it be? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Leah J. Bonjour, Zorm. Obrigado, Pedro. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, let's do a quick guess the theme. Okay, so. Okay, so. You have to type, just need to type in the, the name of the piece. You don't need to type in the name of the game. So the first person up to five points will win. But I can't guarantee there'll be a prize. Uh, I guess for today, 
there'll just be bragging rights if you win for today's guest theme because again due to the time limitations of the stream i'm not sure if i have time to do like uh get a free request for the winner this time but here is the first round <laughs> All right, Toby Minscraft gets the points. All you need to do is just identify the name of the piece, not the name of the game. So Toby Minscraft, you get one point. Let me get out my pen and paper. I think it's opposite, you just have to type the name of the game. I thought it said I didn't, you didn't type the name of the piece. All right, so I see Toby Minscraft got it first. All right, here's the next round. Eduardo gets the point. Congratulations, Eduardo. Here's the next round. And the correct answer is Underwater, the Underwater theme from Super Mario Brothers 3. Eduardo gets another point. Here's the next round. Point goes to Awesome Sisho. Congratulations. The fairy theme. I'll accept that. Okay, here's the next round. And it's Song of Healing from Majora's Mask. And the first person to get it right is Toby Mincecraft. Congratulations, Toby Mincecraft. You're battling head-to-head -head with Eduardo. You both have two points, and you're both tied for first place. Here's the next theme. And the correct answer is Clock Town Day One from Majora's Mask. So 
Awesomeness C show. You get another point. Wow, there's a three-way tie for first place right now. This is pretty competitive. Okay, here's the next round. Hello, Jake Moore. Good to see you again. Here's the next round. And that was a Banjo Kazooie opening or intro theme. Let's see, you got the answer right or the title theme. And the point goes to Zorm. Congratulations, Zorm. You get one point. You get un point. Hopefully, you get un der trois cat sank and win. Guess the theme today. Well, let's see how it goes. Here's the next round. And the point goes to Eduardo W, overall two. Zorm with athletic theme comes in a close second, but there's only one winner for each round. So Eduardo W gets the point and surges to first place with three points. Here's the next round. And that was Super Mario 64, the credits rule or staff rule. And the point goes to Eduardo W yet again. Now, Eduardo's at game point. Eduardo has four points now. One more point, and Eduardo wins. Okay, so now here's the next round. Again, you just have to guess the name of the piece, not the name of the game. Here it goes. That was the boss theme. Correct. From Super Mario Brothers 3. And with that round, Eduardo W wins. No, Eduardo's not cheating. He's very good at this game, Joe Bobin. He wins many times. All right. And I did not tell this the the pieces I play for Guess the Theme. I just randomly chose as a spot. I have not told anybody. Okay, so congratulations, Eduardo. 
So, Eduardo, you can make a request as long as time permits. Granted, uh, I may have to end the stream suddenly or abruptly, but for now, you can make a request. So, in the meantime, I'll play the Jeopardy thinking theme as we we'll wait for Eduardo's request. So Eduardo is a many many time winner of Guess the Theme. I've lost count of how many times Eduardo has won. All right, Mario Kart vibe. All right, so let's play Baby Park from Super Mario Kart Double Dash. Okay, here it goes. <laughs> My fingers will not explode. They've been trained and uh, this is, yeah. Thank you everyone. Thank you, Eduardo W. All right, and that's just in the nick of time. I uh, gotta get going, but uh, stay tuned for the release of my video tomorrow. And thank you all for joining the stream. It's a lot of fun. And thank you for the super chats. So see you next time. Bye-bye.